I want to um, just take a moment to describe, I suppose, what the final deliverable's going to be. Um, and it's really incredibly simple. You pretty much already did it, and you did it three times already. So, I mean, the final is basically, once you get your final render, I just want you to drop it on an 8.5 by 11 sheet that is set up to be 150 pixels uh, per inch. Okay, so the resolution's 150. Right, once you drop it in, before you hit enter and actually place it in the sheet, it should fit perfectly. So if you see any margins around this, then you did something wrong with your export. Okay, so you just hit enter, and then all you have to do is put your text on the bottom. And I just want you to follow a similar format. Whoop, there we go. Okay. Sorry, I accidentally clicked out of that. Let me get rid of this. I just want you to follow a similar format, just name it, um, and describe, um, I guess, in this case, all I want to hear about is how long of a render time it was, okay? Because the settings are really just very personalized, and we're not going to be able to identify one person's particular settings versus another. So you would just call this, um, well, I mean, you can name it if you want, but I'm just going to call this, you know, render time. One hour. And that is all there is to it. Um, oh, put your name. Sorry. I do want your name on it. And this is definitely not a one hour render, by the way. It should not look this grainy. Okay, so that's really it, okay? And then um, I'm the only thing I'm going to collect is just an image. So JPEG, PNG, doesn't really matter to me. So you'll just save that in a drop folder when you're done. So I'm gonna say file, save as, and locate that drop folder. It's under our class, module one. We're gonna call this module one final and then just save it as a jpeg or a png doesn't matter and just call it um, by your name um, by the time we arrive in class on monday okay so that's it i don't really oh um i don't think i really explained this before when you're saving um jpegs and pngs there's like a compression method that it goes through um, just most of the time putting it somewhere you know on the upper middle level of the scale is going to be just fine especially if we're just doing like web graphics and stuff like that but but unless we're doing really 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 big images um, I pretty much want you to just max it out so you just drag this all the way to the end and it'll save it okay that's all any questions you're welcome.